Investigating the incident now say the bag was found in a cubby near the White House's West Executive entrance, not the formal West Wing lobby as it was previously reported. The cocaine was found in an entrance area between the foyer and the lower level lobby. Officials are setting low expectations that they will be able to identify who it belongs to. Biden and his family were at Camp David, Maryland, not the White House, when officers discovered the cocaine. Back here at home, if you love to use your phone to take pictures of friends, family, and of course, all of those fun experiences, well, then you'll probably love to do the same to capture some beautiful nature scenes right here in the RGV. Danielle, you've got the scoop on this one. Uh, so we already use it every day yes. for those selfies and for, you know, mm -hmm. take pictures of our family and friends, like you mentioned, but yeah. now nature. I now, love it. Yeah, I mean, you sometimes don't you just look outside, you see a beautiful sky, and you're like, let me take a photo of this. Like, for sure. <laughs> those sunsets here in the oh, valley, especially during the summertime. Gorgeous. Those oranges. Oh, mm -hmm. my God. Gorgeous. It's gorgeous, Daisy. There's a lot of beauty here in our nature in the valley. This event is going to help us capture all of that, okay? There's going to be an event called Smartphone Nature Photography, and attendees are going to be able to meet a professional photographer named Ruth Hoyt, who's going to be hosting the entire thing. There, she's going to be able to guide participants through the process of learning just how to capture that special moment in time when it comes to our beautiful nature here in the Rio Grande Valley and of course our South Texas environments. Now that can mean capturing that perfect sunset shot out at South Padre like we talked about something like that or maybe capturing some of our natural wildlife and their habitat. Maybe capturing some of the valley's unique ecosystem or just taking photos of all the beautiful palm trees we have. <laughs> there's a lot to take pictures of here in the valley and there's so many amazing sights to see and take in and when it comes to the RGV community and this is an event that's going to be able to help us to, just to take our skills uh, and and, um, and our, to, our, to the next level when it comes to our stills on our phone. And that's the great thing here. This event is going to help us learn how to take photos like that without even the need for a big fancy camera. See, smartphones are really high tech these days, of course. And so it just makes sense that we can capture high quality images with our phones. The photo magic is literally in the palm of our hands. And Ruth is going to be able to show attendees a brief slideshow containing learned tips and tricks when it comes to exploring our, the natural world on our phones. And and then she's going to be able to guide attendees outside the room to practice some of the newfound knowledge um, out in the wild, which will be great hands-on learning experiences for sure. And here's the great thing. The event is to open to everyone. So if you happen to not quite, you know, have a smartphone, maybe that's the case, not to worry. Their team is going to be able to provide you with a camera device so you can join in on the fun regardless. And it's all going down at the one and only Quinta Mazatlan World Birding Center in the beautiful city of McAllen. It's all going down tomorrow. The event's going to kick off at 8 in the morning, bright and early, so you can witness the essence of the outdoors there on site and it'll last until 10 in the morning. Plus, it's family friendly again, so you can bring the kiddos out for this too. There will even be, speaking of kiddos, a special youth nature photo contest. And you can visit quintamazatlan.ticketleap.com for all the fun info that you're going to need to know about. So guys, again, how many times do we take photos of the rain, the sunset, the rasakas? I mean, there's a lot to take photos of, and it's always with our phones. So why not learn how to be a pro, right? Yeah, it's all about the angle, the lighting, the <laughs> position of the phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it, it can make sure. for some great pictures. And the quality of these cameras on these phones yes. these days, I mean, you, you know it. You have the latest Ugh. iPhone. It's just great quality. For now, I have the latest until the next one comes out. Until Which, tomorrow. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wait, Soon whoa, enough. Whoa. Soon enough, I'm sure. <laughs> you sure. ruined my mood there for a second. Right, yeah. <laughs> and especially, you know, it all depends on the sunlight. You know, yes. if you want to take it away from the sun and mm -hmm. always, uh, th that's really cool because sometimes yeah. it's, there's a lot of folks that post pictures on mm -hmm. social media <laughs> and, I'm, and they send them over to, to the weather folks and we're just yes. like, can't use it. <laughs> can't, can't use, use it because it. <laughs> it's like it's kind of like a different the mm -hmm. we you know we have to take pictures horizontally, not yes. vertically. vertically. You know, so it's aha, uh -huh. I always That's forget that good. one. I always yeah. hold like that. Yeah, but most Regardless, I'm sure that this is going to be a great event for yeah. everybody to hone in on those mm -hmm. photography skills. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Danielle. <laughs> Coming up, mosquitoes can pack a nasty bite. Besides the itch and redness it leaves behind, it can also make you sick. What you need to know so you can safely spend time outdoors this summer. And we are expecting cooler temperatures once again today as the chance of rain is in the forecast. Here's a live look right now across the nation, Chicago and Tampa. Definitely seeing cooler temperatures out there. Of course, it's already sunrise across the East Coast there, but destination three day forecast here across Texas, we will see those temps back into the upper 90s and hundreds, especially through this uh, Sunday and Monday there. So we are expecting those conditions to remain mostly 